Hey guys, what's up? It's Carl Plankin with Plankins Networking, and today we're going to be doing a, a pretty easy video in Active Directory. We're going to be showing you guys how to create user profiles in Active Directory users and computers. So, one thing I want to point out when you're doing this is that for security reason, or for security reasons, and redundancy, and you know, just making sure you have your data for your clients or for your business, you know, whatever it is you're using user profiles for, make sure you have it this all stored on a separate drive and then a drive backing up that drive. So you should have a total of three hard drives, your local disk and uh, two different drives, one for the backup of the user profiles disk or you know, however you want to do it. Another thing you could do is you could just use your local disk and then back up your local disk but then you also, unless you go in and tell it only to back up certain folders then you back up your whole drive and that just is kind of a waste of space honestly. So personally what I like to do is I like to have two different drives, one for you know my client data and the one to back that client data up. That way you have some redundancy and if your if your uh, drive decides to go out your main drive that is shared with your network, if that goes out you have a backup of it somewhere. Another thing you could do is also just have one drive and then have that backed up to a cloud somewhere. But, you know, how you do it is completely up, completely up to you. Whether you just want to put it on a flash drive, a hard drive, or in the cloud, doesn't matter. Just always make sure that you have a backup. That way you, you don't have, have a risk of losing data. So the first thing we're going to do today is we're going to go to start, and then we're going to go to computer and go to, in our case, we're just going to be using our local disk because we are in a virtual machine but like I said this is not the ideal the ideal setup okay so the first thing we're gonna do is create a new folder we're gonna name it shares and then we're gonna go into this folder and create another new folder and we're gonna name it user profiles alright now that we have those two created we're gonna share this with users on our active directory network we're gonna type in authenticated users that means if you're if you're authenticated with the server, you can access the files. Okay, and the next one we're going to do is our ER user. And we're going to give these guys read and write access. Now, I do believe you can only give them read access and it will still create the profile under the folder, but I'm not positive on that, and so don't quote me on it, like I just said. So share this folder with your network and then we're gonna come here and we're actually gonna copy this we're gonna close this and we're gonna close this next thing we're gonna do is go to Active Directory users and computers you can launch this from inside your start menu under administrative tools and it will be right there it's four from the top or you can launch it from your taskbar if you have it pinned there like we do Next thing we're going to do is we're going to go to ER user, we're going to go to properties, and we're going to go to profile, and we are going to paste this UNC in there. Now what you want to do is type in slash, and we want to create the person's profile under this folder. We don't want it to be directly in that folder because then all of our users would be under the same profile. So we want to create a subdirectory under user profiles for this user. So we're going to type in ER user and we are going to click apply and click OK. OK, now that this is done, we are going to boot up our client machine, which is Windows 8.1. And we are going to log into this user, and we're going to make sure that this worked for you guys. If not, we will troubleshoot it in the video, because sometimes there are a few issues with this, and we will make sure it gets working. OK, and we're just waiting for this client to boot up. Okay, you guys, so our client is booted up. We're going to open up our account, and we're going to type in our password. And hopefully this is the right password, because I'm not sure if I changed it or not, uh, but I may have in one of my videos. Okay, yeah, so that is the right password. We are booted into our user account. Now our user's profile should be saved on here. Now to check this, we're going to go under our file explorer. Okay, sorry you guys, I had to go do something really fast. So, now that we are in this client machine, we can go to our top URL right here, and we can type in our server's IP address just to make sure that this folder was created on that desktop, I mean, on that server. 
we can type in our server address. If we go into user profiles and go to e erusersversion 2 you can see that the user has been created. So now what we can do just to test this, we can we can go on our desktop and we'll make uh, contacts. We'll call it Dr. John Sorry, you guys, I apparently can't type right now. We'll type in Dr. D uh, Dr. John Doe, and we'll click OK. Oh, we'll, we'll put a picture, too, just just to add to the experience. Huh. Oh, yeah, that's right. They don't have sample pictures anymore. Okay, so we won't be doing a picture, actually. Uh, actually, you know what? We can. We'll go under here, and we will just grab a random picture off of here. And we'll just drag this to our desktop. Okay, we're gonna have to authenticate uh, authenticate with our server apparently. Uh, type in our password. Okay, whatever. It's not gonna let us do that. So we're just gonna click OK here, and our account has been created. Now, if we come over here to our server and we go under my computer. Local disk, shares, user profiles. Uh, we actually can't access it from here, so we'll do this under a client. Actually, forgot about that. You have to be in the user account in order to access this folder, which makes it a little bit more secure for the users with these folder folders. Uh, okay, why did that not copy? CMD. Okay, so... Like I said, sometimes with this there are a few I issues, so we're, ju we're just going to try doing a GP update real fast, see if that helps. Oh, whoops. I did that wrong, slash force. There we go. Okay, and while it's updating this, I believe it, it honestly, it should have popped up in here already. I'm not really sure why it hasn't, but it did create the folder, so it is working. That's... That's one thing we do know for sure. Okay. We'll just exit and then log off now. Sign out. And uh, we'll see if this works. Close this on our server. We're going to go back under ER user and we're going to type in our password. We're going to go to our UNC path 40, user profiles, and user 2. And there we, go. there we go. So now it's coming up with each folder for the user, like it should which means that our desktop files can be accessed. On here we have our desktop file, which is John Doe, and on here. So there you guys have it. There's our profile user, and that'll make it so that, you know, no matter what computer these users are on, they can have all their files synced in one place, and it just makes it a lot easier for users to have everything in one desktop synced to all the other desktops. Uh, so that's all for this video, guys, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, comment, and s subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys later. Peace out. Thanks again, everybody, for watching, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.